for one of my classes, I had to read the book Frankenstein. And there's a part in there where it mentions a character writes his own eulogy. So it made me sit there and think. I was like, okay, what would happen if we actually had to write our own eulogy instead of someone else doing it after we pass? Would we be saying positive things about ourselves or would we be saying negative things about ourselves? Most people would try and find positive things, even if it's lying, to make themselves look good to others once they pass. But what would people actually be saying? And then what would you say about yourself? Do you want it to be something that is positive? Because optimists will probably find all the good things about themselves and put it out there in their eulogy. All the pessimists will probably find all the negative things about themselves and put it in the eulogy. But what would the others say about you? And what would you say about yourself? Think about that for a moment. If you were to write a eulogy about yourself, how truthful would it really be? And if you were to step out from yourself and look at yourself from a third person point of view, what would the eulogy say about yourself? Now, what do you want it to actually say? The question, I guess, is what do you want to do to try to get yourself to be like the version of yourself that would be in that eulogy? I guess the first step you want to do is make a list there and find ways that you can be like that person. And then start making some kind of initiative to go towards it. That's just something that I thought about. And I hope you all have a great day. Much love.